Why, hello there, this is Maddox speaking. Welcome to One Shot, a small gem of a game that I happen to find on Steam. And I have to say, I've been quite mesmerized by it. Now, I had to forewarn you because inevitable comparisons with a certain game will feel necessary to you, um, but I would discourage them altogether. Although, I need to still forewarn you that the only reason I realized of the existence of this game was because Steam suggested it because I played Undertale. And yes, after seeing a few pictures of it and also the game trailer, I was compelled to purchase it because it did kind of remind me a bit about Undertale. The overall aesthetic presentation and also the character design, which reminds me a bit of Tammy Chang. In fact, the main character also reminds me a bit of uh, that cat witch from the Potion Shop cartoon, also by Tammy Chang. But it's not really fair to compare it to Undertale. Although, I have the slight suspicion the makers of this game did realize that the comparisons with that game would be inevitable. But on the other hand, the way this game has its own metatextual gameplay curves, because yes, it has metatextual gameplay curves that serve the purpose of pretty much pointing out the very fictitious but also very immersive nature of gaming and the differences between the entity of the player and the entity of the avatar that the player is using to play said game, they are so very similar to what Undertale made of those very specific, mm, shall we say, curves. But uh, the way this game goes about it is slightly different, or should I say different enough to not warrant a accusation of any kind. It's not a knockoff, it's not a ripoff, it's definitely a game that has similarities to something as Undertale, but it goes about it in its own unique, fun and emotionally fulfilling way. And I have to say, I was immediately compelled, endeared, to enjoy the game's immersive and uh, fascinating world pretty much from the start. The soft soundtrack playing in the background as you're hearing it right now definitely helped in that process. Okay, so now I'm going to show to you a brief gameplay session, a one-shot, if you will, huh? to let you see what the game is all about, because I really want you to purchase this game and play it for your own. Consider this a... Uh, demonstration slash analytical discussion as I go. So, let's begin. This is definitely a good start. I do love the pixelated animation. Hello? Mad Dog? Okay, I should actually point out to you all that this is actually my second playthrough of the game. This is the kind of game that has multiple playthroughs and it's aware that you will have to play this game multiple times. Also, uh, Mad Dog being my name, essentially is there to imply that yes, the avatar that I'm using to play this game as, uh, is aware of my existence. The entire game, in fact, is aware of my existence, and this does not necessarily count as a spoiler, mind you, because you are bestowed with that revelation as soon as you start playing the game the first time. But yes, you, the player, as in me, am the god of this world. And this young lad is the Messiah, the Avatar of God. I would call it a Jesus Christ allegory, but really... Um, I don't think it really counts as an allegory if it's transparent, you know? 
Anyway, um, I was not expecting this. Honestly, this is actually new to me. I was expecting to be able to play the game from, you know, the start, the real start, as it were, because I actually deleted the save game. Then again, the game itself suggested me <laughs> to delete the save game in order to properly restart this game. So, I don't know what's going on now. I am as surprised, or I should say, as... Uh, not in the know, as you are watching this right now. So let's see what happens, shall we? Wait. Why did I say that word? Mad hog. What does it mean? Why does that sound so familiar? Right. So, wait, was that all? Was that the only acknowledgement by the game's part that I'm actually playing a second playthrough right now? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Nico just woke up here. Yeah, that's the name of the character, by the way, Nico. Not a silent protagonist for a change. There is a TV remote here. Nico picks it up. I do love the little jingle music when I pick up objects. It is so satisfying. Mm. The computer is turned off. No, oh, wait, I've been pressing the wrong button. Sorry. Oh, yeah. It needs a password. I actually don't remember it. So... Okay. A soft glowing light trickles through the window. I remember this part. Open the inventory. Oh, I still have the strange journal that I should not be having at this particular point in time in the game. Whoops. You know, this must be very confusing for you watching this, but trust me, um, I was not expecting this. Uh, in retrospect, I totally should have, because again, obligatory Undertale comparisons. But um, yeah, this is new. <laughs> anyway, selecting the television remote. Then exiting the inventory, you see the remote is down there in the item bar, if you will, and now I can use it with stuff. In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. All of the numbers except 8, 3, 4 and 1 are missing. Okay, so the 8 is red, the 3 is yellow, the 4 is blue and the 1 is green. They're marked in bright colors. Access granted. Okay. You were not expecting me to be back, were you? Or were you? You found me. Why? You are already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then, remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Oh, he's talking to me. Your mission is to help Nico live. And most importantly... Yes, ellipsis. Those are the most important things. No, this does not feel right at all. Have we already been through this, mad dog? Why, yes, yes we have. But that should be impossible. You only had one shot. I, I wasn't supposed to exist after that. 
Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. Okay. So I tried to keep the comparisons to Undertale as minimal as humanly possible, but this game is really forcing my hand at this point. This is exactly like playing Undertale. Well, not exactly. This is still a different genre of game. It's not a RPG with uh, bullet hell mechanics. This is a adventure game. You advance to the story by solving puzzles, like I just did. Mad Dog? That sounds so familiar. A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. Hmm? A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. It was I, Kara! Sorry. There is no water in the toilet. The tub won't run. Music. Ambience. Hello? Anyone? Okay. Don't mind me if I intrude. Right. The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit? Yep. Using the dry branch with the TV spark. Nico readies the branch. Ah. Okay, we're missing something clearly. The sink won't turn on. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Nico takes it. Right, I forgot about the bottle of alcohol. Nico dips the branch into the alcohol. Wet branch. Okay, I should point out that I actually really enjoy the puzzles in this game. They are not too simple, but uh, they always make sense. Which is something that I cannot say for every graphic adventure game I've ever played. Alright! Ha! Huh. We have a blue torch, apparently. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. There we go. And this reveals... Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. The blue firelight, I should point out again. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. What do we have here? Why, it's the basement key. Of course. That will be important in a moment. Aha. Let's go down the basement. What could possibly go wrong? -la 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 -la. Climbing down the stairs. Hmm. That looks like a lamp. A light bulb, to be specific. Well, we've been blinded. Yes. So, get used to see this object being carried around throughout the entirety of the game, like this and like so. I'm surprised these arms never get tired, considering the 
sheer size of that light bulb. One shot, hot climbing stairs action. There. What is this place? This is all so mysterious and vaguely post-apocalyptic. A robot. It no longer has power. Hold on. See the options, notes, settings. All right. Everything is fine. Everything is as it should be. Why, hello there. Ah. Uh, that light bulb. You are here. M me Yes, you. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence, yes. Uh, thanks. Um, déjà vu. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Ah, uh, right, allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location? Um, yes. Just as my prophecy foretold, yes. You are the savior we have been waiting for. <laughs> hey, random guy, you are Jesus. Hooray! You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. I do not like to be trolled by video games. Curse you, Eternal Darkness, you totally got me. Um, okay? I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. How are kittens born? Please ask me anything else. Oh well. Can you tell me about this world? I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off, everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim, nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. Not that I'm bitter or anything. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barons. That tower you see in the distance, it's Babel's tower, I mean, once held our sun. Ah, so that's how the tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in the outpost somewhere. Okay. Can you tell me about this light bulb? 
I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new son. Please don't drop it. Your son? Yes. Years ago, our previous son sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. Huh. The world is still hanging on by a thread. So sad. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called Phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Ah, well, that's sad. Bye. <laughs> but now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful for the love of you. Don't drop it. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh, well. It's a good thing you actually, you know, gave this responsibility to some random child who woke up in your world, randomly. Can you tell me about, um, about Madog? Who is this Madog you speak of? Nobody knows him. Uh, when I woke up in that house, for some reason I called out a name. Madog. I'm not sure why I did that. But then... I saw it on a computer too! A computer that was totally ignoring me and talking to someone else! Ah, uh, that would be our god. Yep, I'm officially a god. Hooray. Oh, right. I think I remember something about that. You do? But wait, did you not just arrive here? I was the one who was supposed to inform you of that. It's almost as if you played this game already. So how did you know? That's a story for another time. Um... It just made sense, I guess. Well, okay, that explains everything then. Ah. Have you already contacted Madog then? Nope. I just had to close my eyes and focus, right? Why do I even know this? Hey, mad dog? God? It's me, Duff Man! Oh man, this is going to sound weird, but do I have to hunt down the Holy Grail or something? Have we met before? Hmm, yes, yes we have, my child. Ah, I don't remember you though. It's almost as if my life was just as easily resetted as a video game. I'm stopping with that, by the way. It's just a weird feeling that I have. Maybe it's different for, for a god like you. Well, anyway, it's nice to meet you, Mad Dog. My name is Nico. Well, okay then. I just contacted Mad Dog. Yay! I, <laughs> I have a direct access to God. Oh, I cannot wait to let him read my fanfictions. Do not be afraid to ask Mad Dog for assistance. You are the messiah after all. Can you tell me about... Going home? Oh, I don't mean to be rude, but I... I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago. You were not. And now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Ah, uh, well, your mission is to save our world. Just as my mission is to tell you about your, uh, our world. I mean, yes, that's what I meant to say. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. 
I love this. This little guy was programmed for the specific purpose of being the prophecy that explains the plot to the main character. The prophet, I should say. I am sorry. Oh. Well. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. Smithers, release the hounds. I wish you luck. Right. Let's start exploring. Uh, oh, there's a note. The use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox. Especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. The management. It won't turn on. Oh. There's something here. Self-charging solar battery model N87. One year warranty included. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds. No external power is needed. Troubleshooting manual. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens of the front blah 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 blah. This box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. Hmm. Oh goody. What's this? Why, it's Isaac Asimov's Free Rules of Robotics. I think you know those rules by now. I think they are pretty famous. Yes, okay. I'm not going to bother with the reading of those. Ah, here's a map. Right. You are here in the Barrens. We need to reach the Glen and that the center of the world and then the tower. Easy. Hmm? I sure love the convenience of just paper notes left randomly on tables and floors. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high, as expected. We have provided customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single the rest of the page is unreadable. What is this corpse party? I hope it's not corpse party. This is way too charming and cute to be corpse party. Hmm. That's a big machine. It doesn't seem to be doing anything though. There's a rectangle shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something used to fit in here. I do love the soundtrack. Uh-huh. A robot sitting on the conveyor belt. Doesn't seem to have power. Hold on, I'm missing something. Aha! Uh -huh. There it was. It's a metal pipe. Sweet. Uh-huh. Why, hello there, objective for this area. Um, hello? 
Mad Dog, are you there? Yes, I'm always here, child. I have nothing better to do. Oh, good. There's a robot here attached to a bit of, um, to a boat. Uh, yeah, drop the beat and all that. It doesn't seem to have power, and its joints have rusted all over as well. But I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we'll need to cross this ocean to get to the tower and... Yeah. Anyway, so there is a convenient feature in this game, which is teleportation. More or less. So let's get back to the entrance. Don't mind me, Prophecy Robot. I'm just saving the world, is all. Mm, okay, so we need a functioning conveyor belt. This should do. Ah. Do you want me to crush the pipe in here, Mad Dog? Um, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. All right. And yes, before you ask, the game is all like this. Puzzle solving advances the plot. If puzzle solving is not your forte, then you might not feel the investment necessary to enjoy this game. But I would still invite you to get over your um, predispositions, yes, get over your predispositions to enjoy a very unique game. Well, unique in relative terms. This bar should open it. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Hmm. It's broken! We need to fix it. Of course, that would be a dead end. Right, let's explore some more. Look at this water, ah, so majestic. Uh oh. Man, look, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Right, we cannot go there yet. The sun will not return, and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry, everyone, for choosing to live before the darkness suffocates us all. Well, that got dark quickly, I have to say. You want me to use the crowbar to open the safe, my dog? I'll try! The door is sealed flush. Wait, what? We might need the code after all. Yeah, I better get rid of that crowbar. 
There we go. A metal safe. Seems like it's locked with six-digit code. I don't remember seeing any six-digit codes. Do you, Mad Dog? Do I? <laughs> yes, I do. But before we get to that, let's go somewhere else. A torn page with faded ink. With the mining operations going smoothly, materials are no longer our limiting factor. We will be able to build more resilient robots, both in body and mind. Specifically, the discovery of Metal Alloy 291 will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. Well, good for you, I guess. comes the best character. The light bulb. So, are you the messiah? And that's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? Hey, that's rude. Nuh-uh! I'm a person! I'm a human being! I'm not an animal! <laughs> you got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs! Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. Uh, you're telling me. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. Sigh. This is going to sound cool, but I honestly think you are better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. Well, somebody's an optimistic sod. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable. Unprobable? Excuse me? Unprobable. Really? That's the word you were looking for? Okay. It's your game. That the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here. And you are already using the regale my status to refer to yourself. Well, aren't you a pretentious brat? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Uh-huh. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb. Um, sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. And the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission? Oh! Don't take my word for it, though. Alright. What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least, nobody history knows. Then, who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... <sighs> oh? He never told me if it went anywhere. Mysterious. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better than you came back. 
It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. At least let me know you got my message, okay? Signed, Keep. Hmm. Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry, I got curious. What is... What is this big? Backup power cell. It keeps me functional. The main generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. There's lots of tiny glowing shrimp swimming in this jar. And lots of tiny shrimp that aren't glowing. Or swimming. No way! I just refilled that two days ago! <sighs> I guess I'll make a trip to the store later. Something is poking out from this shelf. Oh, it's a screwdriver! You can take it if you want. It may help you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. For obvious reasons. Thank you. Okay. It's a metal chess table covered in dust. I haven't played chess with anyone else for a very long time. I am lonely. Oh? Not even with the other robots? No. Nobody in the Barons have the capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed, for that matter. This word, this terminology, tamed, I know it's a robot thing, as the game establishes it, but it's never actually quite explained what does that entail. I'm assuming it has something to do with uh, the capacity for free will. And learning, outside of one's programming. But that's just me speculating, I actually don't have the actual confirmation of that theory. A bed. It's made of metal. Of course it is. Doesn't look very comfortable. Okay. She seems nice. A bit on the fence, but uh, still nice. Wait! I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks! That's very kind of you. Oh, what do we have here? There's a little gadget on the ground. It looks kinda like a camera. What's left of a camera, anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh! Or not. I don't know. Oh! That was weird. Are you okay? You were starting to block out. I... I saw something? Huh? It was like a really short dream just now. Oh. I saw something like a robot with a yellow eye. That's... strange. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah? Alright. Anyway, please don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead, anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines. The source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. 
so now it's a lost forever? A lost forever, ugh. It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Wait, it does? Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh? I hope he's okay. Do be careful in here. Ready to leave? Uh-huh. Battery. Done. Okay. Light bulb. Yes. I would have never thought of that. Good thinking, Mad Dog. Ah, uh, looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Yep. That's me. Fast thinking. Now let's go back to the outpost, yes. It's time to recharge this place. Let's hope the charge battery does something. Hey, it's doing something! Hooray! Whoa! I know Kung Fu! Well, what do you know? The robots are back. Oh no, the robots are back! Robot insurrection! Oh! I am functional. I can walk. I can talk. I can sing! No, don't sing, please. I am functional. Did you power up the generator? Yes. Yes, I did. Right, my dog? Yeah, we are the best. Now. What to do now? Oh yeah, actually I do remember what we need to do now. It is something uh, very interesting and very tricky and very, very metagamey. I see you've made progress in this world, Madog. But that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Wink, wink. Do you understand what this means, Mad Dog? Oh yeah. Good, start looking. I definitely know what that means. As you will all see in a moment. So, remember this safe? Where would the code be? Remember this journal? This journal right here? Yeah, you cannot read it here. You had to go outside of the game. As in, literally. Documents? Document? One shot text. Oh, look! I can actually understand what's written here. That's weird. I couldn't before, I swear. I must be honest. I was not expecting it to work. This changes everything then. I will atone for everything. Please give me some time. Uh. 
Right. I actually know about all of this now. Anyway, the code is 714503. <laughs> I love this. Uh, thinking outside the box. The gaming box. Literally. 714503. Seven one four five oh three seven one four five oh three Ta da I have my ways. I see. What's in the safe, Nico? Let's see. Oh, I found a gas mask. How convenient. Uh, um, that's weird. What is that? Is the game glitching? Wink, wink. Oh, guys, this is so meta textual. Yeah, so clever. <laughs> it's cute. It's really cute, actually. Okay, we are here now. I should be fine with this mask on. Looking around for stuff. Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. Interesting. It's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. They will be useful. Aha! Instructions. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Reagents. Acidic gas, blue phosphor, rare form. Instructions. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's the end of the page. Hmm. Oh, look. I wonder how could I ever open that. Good thing you kept the crowbar indeed. What a workout. Phew. Hmm. What's all this then? This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Two, without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. Note, if elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Also note, hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. Don't worry, child, I know what to do. So yes, we have to create an household cleaner, essentially. For what purpose, you might be asking? You will find out. A cleaning sponge with a rough surface. We're going to need that. Yes, 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 yes. Now. Moving on. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Um, a living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Uh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun in my hands! Hallelujah. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. 
greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to the Prophet Bot? The Prophet Bot. I think so, yeah. Prophet Bot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. That is extremely lonely. At least, not with ease. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for, then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, you see. Ah. Uh, why, though? I have not been tamed. That word again. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. Okay, then. Looks like they're ever creating the few tame robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going to... Apparently, phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ships started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares? I'm not sure what they man by that. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. And we worked so hard on those. What I find fascinating about this world is that even though there is an impending doom ahead of them, everybody seems to be so chilled about it. It's refreshing, really. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting people as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. I'm scared of ladders. Some of the ink in this page is faded. Likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained. If the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots. At least, not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. All of these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now. We are useful. We are fruitful. We are useful. Everything that boots is wonderful. Unit blah 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 reporting for duty. I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Oh, what? Oh look, I got a stalking robot. This does not lead to anything and it's not useful to anything at all in the story. Just, you know, to let you know. In fact, all of this that I'm doing right now, it's just for the sake of exploring the area, for world building, if you will. This does not directly link to the progression of the narrative. I remember being taught in school about how the, the water surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space. But at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. We may never know. Oh look, it's a hospital. Hello person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. 
Um, scan complete. Injuries detected. None. Treatment required. None. You are good to go. Well, that was easy. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but... This plastic syringe seems to be okay. Alright. Hello, person. You are seeking admission into the infirmary. No? Oh, carry on then. Stay away from me, you creepy robotic stalker. Evacuation at such short notice? I can't believe this. First the son dies, now I'm out of a job. My priorities are so straight up. Some sort of mechanical drawing. Ladders. Hey, sweetie. Six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, can't imagine living in that awful capsule world dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, mom. He is dead, isn't he? He's dead. He's totally dead. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's gonna be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the Althor. I can't just throw them away. Ah yes, the Althor, the ever-elusive figure in the game universe that you never meet, but he helps you in more ways than you can actually imagine. Of course. Yeah, okay. Yes, we know. Hello there. Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Well, I guess that's the end of that conversation. A picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Mad Dog. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. Gotta say, I'm not impressed. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Hey, Nico, do a robot voice! <laughs> what? Try talking like a robot. Do it! Your god commands you! Um, ahem. Beep boop. I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. Eh heh heh. That is not correct! I guess somebody is triggered? Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. I am so triggered right now. Mmm. Anger. Initiate anger module. Angry tweeting. <laughs> Starting up. In fact, robots do not possess ingestive systems. Some robots don't even have mouse. Check your privilege at the door. I am so triggered. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mad Dog, you made me look silly. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was totally worth it. Aha! What do we have here? This pond sure looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's formed a bubble over the surface of the pond. Hmm. 
Interesting. So, we're filling up the syringe, my dog. I guess it's kind of like a funnel. But the liquid might be a bit too thick for to fit in the needle. It was not! <laughs> Thankfully. Gross. Right. So, we have that jelly liquid full of phosphor goodness. Now, what we need is something else. Aha! This vent is on the ground. All the others are taller than me. Right, I'm going to fill it with this empty bottle. Yes. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the, me the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, the first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the Barrens. We found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. Ah, Those guys are nice. So you should inject the liquid through the cork, right, my dog? It's like I'm a doctor! You're not! Oh, I should probably shake this too. It changed color! My little alchemist. Yay. Alright, we're set. Back to the docks. Hello there, little fella. I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? You, well, my dog helped me. But yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am Robot310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Actually, scratch that. Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. That is true. You have no tact whatsoever. Hold on, Maydog and I will find a way to help you. Yes, hence why we needed the bottle of acid. And the sponge. And the gloves. And the gas mask. I'm guessing you want... Yes, I want to do that. Good thing I had these gloves. Hope this works. Hold still. Ha ha ha. Very funny. I have no other choice. There. How's that? I... I can move again. Thank you. I am able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is... The Glen, port number, whatever. My built-in navigation circuits I have fried. Curses. Initiating cursing protocol. Sailor cursing module. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Bummer. Oh. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes. In the event of an error, you should speak with the Ed Engineer. She will know what to do. Right. 
So let's go visit Silver once more. Hello. Again. Friend of a friend. Hey! Hey! Come on, don't ignore me! Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower, but it's having some trouble, so I... it told me to talk to you. Alright. What is the issue? It said something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. My dog and I fixed everything else, I think. Huh. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. Ooh, pretty! That's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from the glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black clover? That's a common plant in our world. It's also... Huh. Sigh. I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake. Here. Oh, thank you! Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Actually... Do you... know how to play chess? Yeah! Totally! Well, sort of. I've played it with some older kids before. Then... Will you play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but uh, I guess it's the least I could do. Oh, this is nice. You're really good at this! Thank you. It was built into my code. Robots and everything. Sigh, existentialism, sigh, human condition, sigh. Uh, so, what's it like, being a robot and all? I've talked to other robots and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did, just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop! Taming is complicated. Oh? How complicated exactly? There goes my other bishop. I can't really explain what tamed robots are. But I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh? Hmm. There goes my little horse. Knight. Right. Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I heard that there's l two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. The memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just the tipping point. And things went south really fast after that. Oh, then there's nothing I can do? Check. What? When did your queen got there? 
the only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you are only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There is no guarantee that things will work out. But... Checkmate. Ow. Alright, guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Oh, thank you also. This was really nice. Really nice. Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger in the barrens. Goodbye, Silver. I'll miss you. That was really nice. Well, time to move on. On to the next adventure. Have you talked to the head engineer yet? She lives near the mine entrance. Yes, yes, we have. Uh, Mad Dog? Is it alright if you let me take a nap somewhere before we go? I'm so tired, I can't even see straight anymore. Okay, so this game has a unique way to save the game. Um, if you actually close up the game's window, the game is saved automatically. Also, if you go to sleep in very specific moments of the game, the game will also save and quit. And once you come back, the game will resume from a very specific dream sequence which will be followed by the kid having a discussion with God, as in with me. But at this point in time, I do believe you've seen enough of this game already to make your own mind if you want to purchase it and play it for yourself or not. Oh, there it is. So yes, so this is being a one-shot, my one-shot, at one-shot. Um, you can find it on Steam, it's less than $10, I believe it's worth it. It's an interesting game and definitely something that deserves to be checked out for what it has to offer. Regardless of obligatory comparisons with certain other games or not. Anyway, good night everybody. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. Good night, my child.